These houses in the vicinity of Buenos Aires are very well guarded, barbed, wire, surveillance cameras, angry dogs, live fences, bars and spikes on. Fences. Shiro an experienced thief opens the SUV door with a tennis ball. And then he tries to get all the most valuable things out of the car. But when Shiro is already finishing his business, the car door suddenly jams. The guy is trying to get out in all possible ways, but the glass is too strong and the door mechanism does not give in, only scratches his hand. Desperate, Shiro tries to shoot out the window, but the bullet ricochets and hits him. Myself, now the guy is no longer hiding from passersby as a criminal, but trying to ask for help, they don't hear him. An unknown girl even uses a tinted car window as a mirror. An attempt to get a horn signal from a car also leads to nothing, and then the mobile is discharged. Shiro spends the night in the car, his wound is bleeding, and the soda is running out. The guy wants to drink and licks the condensation formed on the windows, not knowing what else to do. He inserts the stereo system back into the car and turns on the music. For a while she cheers him up and then the music stops because of the incoming call. This someone is signed. I, Shiro, doubts, but still accepts the call. The owner of the car, and he's the one calling, informs that his name is Dr. Enrique Ferrari and he were robbed 28 times in his life. The robbery of Ciro became 29. Enrique is not going to just let the thief out. The car alarm system is connected to his phone. The body and glass are bulletproof, absolute. Sound insulation, locked, also wheels. And the suspension, the only thing that is not protected, is the gas tank, but it's full of gasoline. This is a potential bomb. Shiro is shocked. Only now does he realize how seriously he got into it. Enrique slowly tells the story of his life. It turns out he is 60 years old. He is a widower and he has a daughter. The man suffers from an incurable form of cancer and he has several months left to live. The doctor asks what Shiro would do if he caught his own son stealing, but Shiro interrupts him with threats and then says that he will kill his whole family. In response, the owner of the car simply hangs up and then the air conditioner starts working in the cabin. At first, Shiro even enjoys the coolness, but the air conditioner does not turn off. In the end, the guy freezes very much and no attempts to protect himself from the cold. Air do not help. Enrique calls back and asks a question about his son again. This time Ciro does not have the strength to threaten, but he still answers incorrectly. Enrique tells how last December two men broke into his daughter's house and took everything, even a toothbrush. At the same time, they threatened a five-year-old grandson. Enrique had him at gunpoint for three hours. Shiro says he's dying of thirst. He asks to give him water, but Enrique is asked by Ciro to guess in which area he practices and turns off again. Shiro is ready to do anything. For the sake of liberation, he even rejoices when he sees a policeman and knocks with all his might, trying to get his attention. But it's useless the car is still perfectly soundproofed. The policeman just writes out a fine and leaves. It's starting to rain. Suffering from dehydration, Shiro weakly moves his lips and dreams of at least a drop of water. Enrique calls again and asks for the thief's passport number. In return he is ready to give him water. Shiro dictates the numbers and finds out that there is water in the washer hose. She's really there and Shiro instantly drinks it all. The next day, he tries to break down the doors again, but they are too strong and Shiro has too little strength because of the injury and after dehydration, the guy begins to have a fever. Enrique mocking. She consults him and then turns on the heating because Shiro should be shivering from fever. The owner of the car continues to talk, but the guy no longer listens to his words. It's too hot in the cabin. Eh. Enrique, meanwhile, talks about all the cases of robbery that happened to his family. Eventually, he ends the call. And Shiro is left alone again. Gradually, the guy is getting closer to insanity. He draws in the car, eats paper from the instruction manual, moves things from place to place, covers the interior with stickers. There is hope for salvation. Another thief tries to open the car, but local residents notice him and call the police. Enrique calls again at night, but Ciro doesn't 
pick up the phone, suffering from hunger and thirst. He even wants to eat a cricket that has been sitting with him all this time, and still, changes his mind at the last moment. After all, it's the only living thing around. The guy is talking to a cricket, telling him that he did not pass biology at school, but remembers who are the organisms that pick up scraps for others and maintain balance in nature. He also says that there are a lot of people on the streets who have too many things. It is necessary to distribute these things to others so that they rejoice. Shiro says that only the poor live in the country and the laws are written by the rich for the rich. He will not obey them. Shiro is a thief like his father and his grandfather. A new morning is coming. Enrique calls again. Shiro is ready to do whatever he says just to be released. The owner of the car in a good mood reads the newspaper to the guy and says that a sweet treat is hidden under the brake pedal. While Shiro eats greedily, Enrique is being called by the second phone and it becomes clear he is an obstetrician gynecologist. Left alone again, Shiro looks at passersby on the street and figures out how he would rob one or the other. In the end, he manages to punch a tiny hole in the car door, but no one hears the cries for help. Enrique calls. Now he turns to Shiro by name. The doctor was at Ciro's house, saw his wife Irina and son Lionel. Enrique lied about the thief's location. He said that Shiro won $100,000 in the lottery. Enrique, as a representative of this lottery, gives money to Irina and advises her to buy her apartment. He offered to spend the rest of the money on his son's education. The girl will have the opportunity to start life anew. But the crying exhausted Shiro simply does not deserve his family. Enrique teases the guy by asking him about his criminal past. Although Shiro assures me that he didn't kill anyone, the owner of the car lists. A guy shot at one person during a robbery. Another elderly bus driver was severely beaten. A pedestrian girl was hit by a stolen car. Shiro tries to justify himself. Shiro inserts the battery back into the phone. All this time he was charging it in the sun the charge is only enough for one short call to his wife. Shiro dictates a message to the answering machine, but only manages to tell his wife that he screwed up again. A hole in the car door. It gets a little bigger just for the cricket and Shiro lets him go. Free. I don't hope for anything anymore. The guy tries to start the car and suddenly it turns out he crashes into a pole at full speed, breaks a window and still gets out. Limping, barely alive, Shiro reaches the nearest diner, takes water, burgers, finally eats and drinks. When the guard comes up and demands to pay, Shiro shoots him, and he wakes up. It turns out it was all just a dream and he's still locked in the car. Enrique calls again. He himself stands in front of the car, then opens the door and sits down next to Shiro. He talks, whistles, eats peanuts and studies. The guy's wound squeezing pus out of it. Shiro screams in pain. Enrique gets a call from one of the patients. This one calmly consults. And even though a person is dying very close by, taking advantage of the moment, Shiro shoots at the doctor, opens the door and tries to escape. He hardly walks down the street and shoots into the air to attract attention. Asks for help. Enrique catches up with the guy and knocks him down. Selects the gun. The bullet fired in the cabin only scratched the doctor's cheek. Now the weapon has Enrique, who is going to bring Ciro back to the car. But suddenly there is a policewoman next to it. The street is full of police. Everything is cordoned off. Even reporters come and talk about the level of crime and what has become of society. Enrique turns to the onlookers and asks what he should do. Pull the trigger or give Ciro to the police to be released on the same day. Let it be. A general decision, someone from the crowd demands, kill Shiro. The police decide that they need to call an experienced negotiator, Julio Amadeo. He has been retired for a long time, but there is no choice. No, Amadeo is coming, but Enrique doesn't. Of course, he only asks to remove dog excrement from the streets because every day on the way to work he sees them in huge quantities. Enrique complains that dog owners don't clean up after their pets. The doctor only wants to understand if he will do justice if he kills Shiro. Shouts are heard again. 
Ordinary people hate criminals and are tired of the fact that the authorities are not doing anything while the doctor is talking to a crowd that clearly supports him. The negotiator informs the police that Enrique has nothing to lose and can only stall. For time, the doctor agrees that he and Shiro was given water while behaving very politely with the girl to the police, thanking her and calling her daughter. He drinks himself and gives the guy a drink. The opinions of the crowd are divided. Someone demands to kill the criminal, someone to spare. After long negotiations and heartfelt stories, Enrique still agrees to let Ciro go. The guy is handcuffed and taken away, and the doctor gets into the car, after which he activates the explosive device and dies. The crowd is shocked and horrified. Some cry Shiro, looks at the burning car sitting in the back seat of a police car. On the morning of one of the following days, the bird body of the car is taken away on a tow truck and the voice of the news anchor says that Enrique, who was popularly nicknamed Dr. Samurai, has crossed all boundaries. Another presenter says that Shiro can be released in a few hours. The cricket with which the thief was imprisoned in the car flies over the city and is eaten by a bird. The movie ends. Subscribe. All bye.